Hey guys, so a while ago CoverGirl launched these glitter shadows and I haven't had a chance to try them but thankfully CoverGirl was nice enough to send me a whole bunch from the collection and the Stila liquid shadows are some of my favorite and I use them all the time. The pixie ones are really good. So I'm curious to see how this more affordable version works. So if you guys would like to see swatches and application and hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. Okay, so what the packaging says about these products are liquid glitter eyeshadow, high shimmer, super saturated color, um, bold rich color. It says can be worn alone or over eyeshadow. That's all it says. Exhibitionist liquid glitter eyeshadow. I have six shades in front of me right here. So let's start off with swatches and see which ones we'd like to play with today. Okay, so I have numbers three through eight, so that's what we'll be swatching. This is number three. It looks like a silver with a hint of blue shimmer to it. It's pretty. Probably gonna say that about every single one, just be warned. Number four, doesn't look like it has as much glitter. It looks more like a cream shadow than a cream glitter. Much smoother. So this one has more glitter. This one looks more like a cream shadow. Same with this next one. Number five looks like a copper shimmer. Yeah, these are much smoother than this first glittery one. Number six looks like a light gold glitter. Yeah, the glitters seem to be a bit more on the sheer side because they have so much glitter to them. I feel like they have like a thinner base. Number seven is purple, but as you turn it, you get a little bit of like a coppery gold to it. And this one also looks like it has a glitter. And finally, we have number eight, which looks like black with silver glitter in it. Here they are up close. So of these, the ones that are calling my name the most are these three middle shades. So I will try to apply it with the yellow glitter and these two shimmer shadows and let you know how they apply. So let me grab a palette to kind of dust on as my base and then we'll dive right in. Okay, so I just have a little bit of like a rosy tan in the crease. So now I think I want to dive right in with these two shades right here and I will use a flat brush to apply them. Okay, I'm gonna start with number four on the outer corner of the lid. Applying it to the eye, it has much more glitter in there than I originally thought. Next, moving on to this copper one, number five. And then finally moving over to number six, that light gold shade. Oh, I like that yellow one. That's really metallic and shimmery. Okay, so these have been on my hand for, what, maybe five minutes or so. They're completely dry. I'm just getting a little bit of glitter on my fingers as I'm rubbing, but the color is staying. So the glitter might flake, we'll see how it works during the day. But once they're dry, they're dry and they're not going anywhere. That is nice. So I'm gonna hop off, apply some mascara, and I'll be back to show you the finished look and hear my thoughts. Okay guys, so I went ahead and added some mascara and this is the way the eyes look with mascara on top.
I mean, I think that it looks nice. It's like super glittery. It's not budging. If you touch your eye, if you like rub your eye, you do get some glitter. So like glitter will be falling off of this. So I wonder how long it will look nice without coming onto my face. So I think that these are a nice dupe for the Stila liquid glitters or the Stila liquid shadows. Some of them are more glittery than others. I don't see myself getting a whole lot of use out of these dark shades. They're just not my color preference. Um, but I can see myself getting a lot of use out of these four. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the swatches, a try on. Um, I will leave an update down below when I'm editing this if anything changes throughout the day. If I remember to do a check-in, I will of course put it at the end, but I am horrible at doing that with three to four kids depending on the day. So I hope you guys found this swatch and try on helpful of the new CoverGirl Exhibitionist Liquid Glitter Shadows. If you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Okay guys, so the eyeshadow has been on for six hours and I'm already seeing glitter under my eyes. So just from blinking and daily wear, the glitter does kind of fall through. So the color stays nice on the lid, but the actual glitter bits have fallen down to my under eye area. So if you don't want glitter on your face, this may not be the product for you. Just letting you know.